talk more on the light uh, meter because this is very very important tool very important tool as important as using the light is using the light meter you know this uh, see for me which is looking overexposed a light which is looking beautiful or which is like correctly placed you know very nicely falling on the subject might be wrong to you it might be subjective you know something which is overexposed or perfectly exposed for me might be underexposed to you this is like you know we cannot be on the same platform you know this is how we respond to the light individually but this is something which makes us to come at the same level you know and be sure that the light we are using is exactly the same that we all have decided let's say you know if you want to uh, put this light there is a subject the light is falling here so there there are modes inside so there is a power button as every equipment was so you put the power button and there are modes here right and the modes are uh, there is something called ambient ambient is this is ambient this is modding lamp but for the light meter this is ambient why because this is not the strobe this is not the strobe right this is the ambient so you can take a reading of the ambient as well first option that you will see is something like sun that you can see on 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 the screen there is something like sun on the screen that's ambient mm. and then, then you see something like uh, flash <laughs> and this is something like flash with cord see you, you will see yeah okay while you are using strobe strobe is going to do two things is going to fill its own light and also is going to kill the light this is external source of light is going to kill the ambient light but there are techniques to balance the ambient and the strobe light as well you must have seen uh, let's say a, a model on the beach you know and there is a sunset beautiful sunset behind but still you use the artificial you know the strobe light in a way let's say with a magnet reflector or a beauty dish or something but in a way that you get that light and the light on the model well managed well blended you know this is how you blend them although the texture of the light and everything is different then you'll have to modify this light the light you are using artificially let's say you the color temperature is different the texture of the light is different you know so you you'll have to manage or modify this light so everything blends in what all we have in the exposure triangle the shutter speed the iso and the aperture right i have put the shutter speed here i put the shutter speed here let's say 160 basically i am using a light which could sink not more than 1 by 200 you know because of the light model i am using and the trans the trigger that i am using you know maybe if i am using a brown color uh, which has a high speed sink different types of lights so high speed sink that would help me sink that light with uh, let's say a high shutter speed of 1 by 1600 or 1 by 2000 1 by 3000 you know and you you're shooting your subject and you want to still use the light and freeze the subject maybe let's say you you have a, a concept where your model is <coughs> taking a jump you know and uh, you have everything is like flying in the air and that kind of you know hair is like in 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 the air with hair color so you're putting some splash of colors and you want to freeze with the external light um, then you'll have to go for those light which could sink with higher shutter speed but basically these light would still sink more not more than by 1 1 by 200 of the uh, of the camera shutter speed you know so keeping that in mind i have put like 1 by 6 1 by 160 you know then uh, for the iso iso there is a iso button here which needs to be pressed and hold you need to press it hold it and then up and down button right so press it hold it and i am doing up and down so i am putting iso which is like most of the time you being into you know advertising fashion or where you want to make bigger print outs you will have to shoot lesser than 100 not even 100 less than 100 where you want to make bigger prints very less of the sensitivity and uh, you'll get the best out of a sensor you know but then again if you're doing as 25 as 30 as 50 you need more of the light you need stronger light then <laughs> right so i i put iso here uh, let's say <coughs> i bring iso 100 now right okay 
so then i'll i'll just give up press this this button and you'll see this is start this will start blinking in the mid the second one it's blinking yeah yeah you'll see there's a box second wale option pe blink kar raha hai flash wale flash wale pe theek hai so now it is telling that my light meter is ready to read the light of the strobe yeah, yeah. show it f4 f4 this is at what intensity 2.3.1 isko ek stop badhate hain so this is at 3.1 let's say at is at 3 i'm going to put it at 4 so i'm going to increase one stop so it should move from 4 to 5.6 around you you understand the stop difference yeah, yeah? 5.6 right this was 4.1 it was initially at 3.1 before this is now 5.6 right if you stop uh, this is 4.1 now go to 5 it should go around 8 that is basically the intensity of the light yeah yes. So I am putting the light there. I am just increasing the intensity. So I have increased one stop now. So it was initially at four, then five point six, and then f eight. That's one stop difference each time, because I am increasing one stop there.